This contest is set for one fall and is a no disqualification hair first hair match. First, making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Mississippi, weighing 210 pounds, Frank Wilson. Up first is the newly christened Frank Wilson, formerly named Johnny Rumble by his mentor and opponent tonight, Frank Steele. Call him whatever you want, this kid is an amazing athlete. He can do just about anything in the ring with his out of this world athleticism. It's amazing how far this young buck has come in just three years. He's got a hell of a future ahead of him. But the question is, does he have what it takes to cement that future tonight? His opponent approaching the ring from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing 245 pounds. He is the legend, Greg Steele. Coming out next is Greg Steele. He's the most decorated athlete we have in wrestling today. He's been everywhere, done it all, and has dozens of titles to prove it. Though, in the past, he has done many questionable things, and some would say he's a shadow of his former self. Let's see if he can prove he's still got it tonight. Looking each other straight in the eyes, just inches away, neither flinching nor looking away, this battle, this feud, this war, has been building to this moment. And there's the bell, folks. This match will be dirty. Who knows how long it could go. We know these two men have stamina for days. Who will attack first? And it steals a vicious slap to the face. Pulls it with a knee to the groin in quick succession. And now an Irish whip. No, the whip countered by Frank Wilson with a whip of his own. Steal off the ropes. And Frank delivers a picture perfect drop kick. Steele rolls out of the ring. And now a little showboating by Frank, and the audience is eating it up. I think the consequences of this match are finally sinking in for Greg Steele. Frank Wilson slides out of the ring as well, only to be dumped into the hard steel barricade. Greg Steele is now on the offensive. He delivers a hard knee to the chip. Now sending Wilson straight into the other barricade. But Wilson dodges the barricade by jumping over the four feet of metal. What a vertical. Greg Steele is back turned, and it looks like Frank Wilson has bad intentions standing on top of that barricade. He jumps, delivering a hard flying forearm. Steele is down. Wilson's putting on a clinic tonight, folks. He throws Greg Steele back in the ring. Wilson, wasting no time, delivers elbow strikes to the small of Steele's neck. Now this is the kind of main event action we wanted here tonight. How far will he take it? Can he get revenge on his mentor, Greg Steele? Or will this be a learning experience for Wilson? Find out after the break. And we're back, folks. This is Phil Steins. Right now, we're in the middle of our first of two main events. This is Frank Wilson versus Greg Steele. And between the brackets, but all Frank Wilson. But you can never count Steele out. Wilson now in the dominant position. And Steele on his knees, staring daggers into his former protege, saying, come, hit me, give it to me. Ooh. And Wilson does just that. But Steele doesn't flinch. His eyes still locked. That's the Steele gaze. That's how he got his name. <clears throat> and another strike. And another strike. But they seem to have very little effect outside of pissing off the old school wrestler. Now Frank Wilson is pissed off as well. And delivers a brutal body slam. Not finished, he drops a knee on the face of Steele. Steele definitely felt that one. But with momentum on his side, Wilson lifts him up into a devastating brain buster. And Wilson goes for the first 
pin attempt of the match. Point. Kick out. Kick out at one. A kick out at one after that beating. That's unheard of. This man must be truly made of steel. He's earned his name here tonight. Wilson is visibly shook. He's shocked to the core. What does he need to do to take out this legend? Wilson proceeds to roll out of the ring, but Greg Steele follows suit. He's now stalking his opponent. Could this be the turning point of the match? And Steele charges. Steele kicks Wilson in the chest like a soccer ball. That was brutal. Not letting up, Wilson is thrown into the metal barricade shoulder first. Wilson is writhing in pain, holding his shoulder. You can audibly hear the young boy screaming. For all we know, his shoulder could be separated. Wilson prone on the barricade, Steele sees an opening. He wedges Wilson's injured arm uh, into the barricade, uh, now attempting uh, to uh, yank it off. This is what you deserve. Wanna take my hair? Huh? I'm taking your arm. Uh, While Steele is jaw jacking, the ref is coming in to break it up. This is what you wanted. This is what you wanted. This is not a legal submission move in wrestling. This is not the kind of match we signed up for tonight. Uh, oh, thank God he breaks the hole. Not through though, he kicks the injured arm onto the steel. Get these men back in the ring. One. And as you can hear, the ref's two, count has begun. If these men three, don't get in the ring by the count of 10, this match is over. Four. Steel finally breaks the hold five, and goes back in the ring. Wilson six, still visibly in pain. Seven. And the count of seven. Eight. Somehow, he makes it back on his feet. Nine. He trudges back to the ring, beating the 10 count, but still clutching the injured arm. And now Steele approaches a defeated Wilson. There is no sign of life in those eyes, folks. Steele's got a hold of him. But Wilson counters. Wilson delivers a massive exploder suplex into the turnbuckle. Both men are down, but the crowd has come alive. Not only is Frank Wilson back in this, but the crowd is as well. This is the pinnacle of fighting spirit, folks. Wilson has backed off as the referee checks on Steele. Looks like Wilson is revving himself up for another jumping forearm, and he's off. Oh no! Steele dodged at the last second and replaced himself with the referee. The referee is out cold. Steele now grinning like a madman, like a psychopath. Nothing good, nothing good can come out of this. Steele now dips out of the ring. What could be in the mind of this deranged legend? Meanwhile, Wilson in the ring is attempting to wake up the referee. What's Steele doing? What's he looking for under the ring? Oh no, he's throwing chairs into the middle of the ring. How many chairs does he need? Steele now back in the ring and Frank still trying to wake up the referee. Steele stalking Frank. Turn around Frank. And he connects the big boot to the head of Frank Wilson. Normally I'd expect to see a pin attempt here, but the referee is still down and dazed. But I think Greg wants to use those chairs that he threw into the ring. He now picks up Frank, hoists him over his shoulders in a torture rack position. This, folks, is the steel beam. He's setting him up for the steel beam. Greg Steele's finishing maneuver. And he's about to finish it. Wilson flips. Wilson flips out of the steel beam. And he delivers a thumb to the eye on Steele. That's something we haven't seen before. Greg screams in pain. While dazed, oh my, Frank's got him up in a torture rack position of his own. Is he doing it? Yes, he is. It's a steel beam on the steel chairs. That's it. And the ref is up. Pin attempt. He did it! 
He did it. Wilson wins. He's conquered his mentor. He's beaten his rival. Injured arm and all.